next two chords are basically uh, A dominant seven. So it's an open A string. Now, oh, and by the way, uh, no, those first two chords were the bass note where your finger was the bass. There was no open strings. But this starts with an open A note. And it's basically your first finger barring all the fifth fret and your second finger on the sixth fret of the G string. So, and it's playing, so it's picking those three notes, the A, D, and G string, and then playing those two notes as, um, barring those two notes and playing together as like a double stop. So that, that whole thing is, down to this inversion of that A dominant chord. Now this for, this dominant chord you could think of as that typical dom it's basically like your major chord, you lift your pinky off and that's your dominant 7 chord. It's pretty much the first dominant chord most people learn, but instead of playing this low A note, it's playing an open string for the A. And then it's playing the rest of the chord. Then it goes down to here with the low with the open A notes still droning in the background. And he's basically skipping the G string, but playing the first finger on the D string, second fret, second finger on the uh, second fret of the B string, and third finger on the third fret of the E string. So that chord sounds like this. So that whole thing is... Version. Again, if you know this, if you know your A major chord down here, you're basically playing, you're, you're, li you're not playing that G string, but it's the same fingering, and you're basically, so you can lift that off, basically. I mean, you can play that note if you want, but he doesn't in this. And then this note up here is just, is basically the same as that open G string, uh, G note which would basically be your major, your uh, dominant seven. So again, that's. Then he walks up a little bass line, which is that second fret of the D string. This is all on the D string from second, third to the open string. So. Uh, that leads to this D chord, which this is, again, if you know your D minor chord on the fifth fret, you're just lifting that finger, the pinky up, and this is your D minor seven chord. And that's your, you can bar the fifth fret of all the strings, you're not playing the low E string. So you have your first finger on the fifth fret of the A string, your third finger on the seventh fret of the D string, your still barring the fifth fret of the G string, your second finger uh, is on the B string sixth fret, and then your first finger again is barring the E string on the fifth fret. So, so that whole thing is... And then he adds that one note up here on the eighth fret of the E string. So that's and he actually may not on that first part of the chord I don't think he actually plays that uh, fifth fret on the high E string so it's just the middle four strings then he plays that note up there so it's goes to this pretty standard voicing of this F chord, which is um, basically the first, it's an F dominant 7 chord, it's your second finger on the A string 8th fret, first finger on the 7th fret of the D string, and then your third finger bars the 8th fret of the G, B, and E string. So, but he actually plays this note first. He plays the with his pinky the tenth fret of the E string and goes back down to that eighth fret of the E all on the E string. 
So the whole thing is. And now what I ended up doing in this thing was I, I slid from, instead of just playing, I actually slid from the 9th fret to the 10th fret back down to the 8th fret. So I had, I just like, you know, that little slide in there, so. Again, that's another thing to do. When you learn these things, you don't have to always play it exactly verbatim. Uh, this, I didn't play verbatim. And in fact, his tempo of doing this, I think he played it a lot faster than I did and more rhythmically in time. I did a little more free form. Um, and then I added some slides like that. Uh, but anyway, so that was the F chord. Then he does, he does that F chord without playing that high E string. So he's just playing that same shape the middle four strings and he slides that up a half step from the 8th fret to the ninth fret back down to the 8th fret so that whole thing is and then he goes to a B dominant 7 chord again which is your standard voicing of a dominant 7 chord so it's barring all the 6th fret and then you can make a pretend like you're doing a bar major chord and just lift your pinky off. Um, so that goes. And again, the way I'm fingering this, I'm kind of rolling it off. Like instead of strum playing it all together or strumming it so that you hit that certain strings I'm actually I'm actually only playing the 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 low E string then the uh, D G and B string and that's it so then he does a walk up of and that's basically the open E string to the 6th fret to the 7th fret of the uh, E string. So that's... And then he plays a diminished chord here, um, which is basically the same as this, but it's a different voicing. So it's your, your bar, you're playing that B note on the 8th fret, or I'm sorry, the 7th fret of the E string. You skip the A string and you bar the 6th fret of the uh, D, G, and B string, but then you also put your your uh, third finger on the seventh fret of the G string. And you play those three notes. So the whole thing. And then he strums that twice right before he gets into a, a little sixth interval thing. Just kind of really a country thing. I mean, you can do it in any style, but. And that's just, again, not playing the G string. You're playing just sixth intervals. So that's your second finger on the seventh fret of the D string. First finger on the sixth fret of the B string. Then you go to the second finger on the eighth fret of the D string third finger on the eighth fret of the G string and you walk that up chromatically. So now those two fingers move up a half step to the ninth fret on both those strings and then you slide from that to the tenth fret. So that whole phrase is and then you play the eighth fret of the E string. So that's and what that's suggesting there is your F dominant chord your F major. There's no third in there, so you're not really quite sure what it is. That's the root, the fifth, the major. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no seventh in there. You have your root, your fifth, your major third, and your fifth again. So this could be major or uh, uh, dominant or just a regular major chord instead of a seventh. Um, 
So that whole thing so far is. Before we go into this, uh, the next chord, I just wanted to briefly mention, I know I, uh, I, I play one part, then I show the next part, then I add those together and I play the whole thing, then I do it again and I play the whole thing and it keeps getting longer and longer um, instead of just walking through the whole thing. I do that for two reasons. Uh, one, that's the way I enjoy learning and teaching uh, because one, it keeps reinforcing the sound of everything. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, the melody and the chords and all that kind of stuff. It also, uh, it's, it's, it's a great stepping process to add one piece, then add another piece as opposed to trying to take this all in at once. Uh, and thirdly, I do that because we've gotten a lot of comments saying that that's one of the aspects of these lessons that a lot of people like. They like that kind of monotony of, of going through it and really breaking it down piece by piece and not just showing 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 and then you're done with it they want to walk through it with you so uh anyway so that's what i do i hope you guys are enjoying that also